Exactly right. With today, the heat increased, also the humidity increased, and led for that chance of showers later on this afternoon. Now, we did see a picture sent in by Brad out in Mosquito Lake. You can see those thick kind of puffy clouds out there. A lot of moisture in those clouds and led to some rain. Now, most of us did see some sprinkles. Other of us saw some showers, and if you saw some showers or even coming up in the next couple days, we could see some storms. Hey, take a picture of it and send it in to us. We'd love to share it and what's happening in the valley in your neck of the woods and in your neighborhood. That way we can show everyone else the current conditions, but for current conditions right now, we are seeing radar mainly dry. We see a few showers still into the Akron Cant region, but for most of us in the valley, those showers that really fired over the last several hours around the lake shore have pushed through the valley, and we're just seeing some light showers now moving out of Lawrence County. Now there could be some spots of drizzle throughout the next hour or so, but for the most part, we are going to be dry, but in the last three hours, it did put down a little bit of rain. We're seeing the accumulation anywhere less than around a tenth of an inch in Trumbull County and really for Mahoning County and most of Mercer. But there's that one shower in the central part of Mercer County just putting anywhere from around a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of rain. So those showers that we talked about today back into the forecast again for tomorrow. That heat and humidity will continue, but for tonight we're going to see the chance of showers decrease as that sun goes down. But by tomorrow, better weather is back in the forecast for the start and that chance for showers as we see coming out of the Great Plains going to be back in the forecast by Thursday. So coming through Iowa and eventually pushing into the Midwest and Ohio are those chance for showers and storms. We'll tell you when they're expected with future tracker in just a second. But for right now, dew points, the humidity beginning to still increase. We're looking at dew points anywhere from the mid 60s to the upper 60s. And then by Thursday, we can see dew points back into the 70s. Those summer like humidity and heat. Again, for tomorrow, we're seeing highs today somewhere around 84 degrees. Low 80s is what we're currently sitting at, except for Mesopotamia already into the upper 70s. Now tonight, we're going to dip back down into the low 60s. So once that isolated chance for a shower pushes out of the area, we are going to be dry for tonight and just seeing a few clouds sticking around. That chance for some fog by tomorrow morning, but by tomorrow afternoon, just a chance of an isolated sprinkle. Now, high to tomorrow is back in the 80s, but tonight lows just around 61 degrees. A light breeze, but keeping a close eye on some patchy fog, mainly into that low lying areas by rivers and creeks. But by tomorrow, the heat humidity back in the forecast 84 is going to be our high, just keeping a 10% for an isolated stray shower, mainly into the afternoon hours. But that rain expected to be back in the forecast by Thursday, not Thursday morning. We're expecting to be dry with warmer temperatures by 10 AM, just in the 70s. But the chance for showers, even some strong storms back in the forecast for Thursday afternoon. And we expect just around 60% of those scattered thunderstorms heading into Friday. That chance for rain sticking around highs only into the low 80s. And that's really where temperatures and highs are going to stay over the next 72 hours. We're seeing Saturday, even Sunday, beautiful weather and dry weather, but warmer weather. And then Monday heading into next Monday with the day of the eclipse, we actually have to forecast five degrees below average because that sunlight not going to be there 